Hey guys, today we're going to be going over Shisui Uchiha, aka Itachi's best friend, and aka this guy stole one of his eyes. So that's why we're going to kick his ass today. So Shisui Uchiha is such a cool character, I really think he's just... That's it, cool. I don't think he's one of the best, but damn do I just love the way he, he looks, the way he teleports around. He's just a very flashy character. So let's go over his tilts. First off, his tilt is pretty decent. Um, I like to use it to poke at mid-range. So if you see someone charging chakra, but you don't want to, you know, chakra dash at them, you can just throw out your tilt instead, which is that. It's not the fastest thing, but like I said, it works well from mid-range. And as you can see, if they block it, you're not going to get punished for it, so it's pretty much, you know, you're good to go. But if you do connect and you press circle again, you can follow up and do a full combo, basically. See? There we go. So I do have Donzo set to block after he gets hit. Um, so any combos that aren't true or would be dropped, he'll block. As you see, he puts up his guard. So, yeah. So that was his tilt. His tilt's pretty okay. I like it. I think it's just a safer way to approach if you don't want to just go in there. But again, you got to be careful with enemy assists or support, whatever you call them. So yeah, that was his tilt. I think it's pretty good. Um, now for his grab. His grab actually has very good range, as you saw. And it looks cool as hell. Because he, uh, he steps forward when he does it. Like, it covers a lot of range, to be honest. Not as much as, like, you know, Jugo or something, but it covers decent range. It's a little on the slow side, but hey, if someone doesn't expect it, you can get them with, the, with this grab. So his grab, pretty alright. Now, he doesn't have a lot of jump cancel combos, just because since he's one of those characters that teleports all over the place mid-combo, as you can see, like... You're not in a good position to follow up with any attacks, to be honest. But since he does teleport so much, if your opponent is blocking and you just want to get the hell out of there, you can just easily just jump out at any time. You know, no problem. See? You can just get out. So, yeah, I don't think there's many new uh, jump cancel combos. The only one I found out is off of his down throw. I mean, off of his down combo, which is this. You pretty much hit circle, I think, six times. And then you double tap X, and you'll be able to follow up with an air combo. Again, the whole point of jump combos, jump cancel combos, are that you're uh, that you can continue a combo without wasting chakra by doing this. You know, so yeah, that's the whole point of them. So here we go. See. So you could do that. So that was that was me jump canceling pretty much the last hit of his down combo. If you don't do it correctly, his down combo looks like this. Which is still badass, you know, still cool, but there you go, you can jump cancel it. By pressing it five to six times, and then right there, boom. And then, you know, you can just, boom, go to town, whatever. It's really fun. Oh, also, just, just a cool little trick that not many people might know. We'll show off his up combo while we're at it. If they don't have any subs and you want to go for like a cool reset, you can just like let them drop and throw a grab. Because since you since you're gonna land on the ground first, they won't expect the grab. Most people will just be holding block in the air. So yeah, feel free to use that. See, like you can't even see it coming. So there you go. So I think Shisui is down combo. Basically, all his combos are cool, and like I say in all my videos, all the combos don't- the combos don't really matter. It's more like what they do in the combo that matters. So, his down combo, you could jump cancel the very last hit, right there. You know, follow up, whatever. Uh, I didn't really find any good jump cancel combos with his- with his middle combo, but whatever, you know, you can just do it normally, it looks cool. Send your opponent flying away. So next... As you can see with his up combo, it's just, you know, like everyone else's up combo, you can always jump cancel an up combo no matter what you do. You just mash X at the end and there you go. Whatever. Simple, right? So now, so we went over his tilt, we went over his grab. Now let's look at his jutsu real quick. So, so he had two jutsus, fireball, fire style, which is just a normal fireball like everyone has. But he also has this one, Uchiha style halo dance. Now, if you just do the jutsu normally, he only throws out one slice of fire, but if you activate it and then keep hitting circle, he'll throw out multiple versions. Three. Now, these are pretty good because it covers a lot of range, and it also tracks your opponent. So if Donzo was flipping around a bit, these would at least track him a little bit. 
And plus, it's three projectiles your opponent has to get through if they're chopper dashing at you. So that's good. He yeah. literally see he does as an assist. See? He does it completely. It's good coverage. You can, like, use it to get in there. Whatever. His jutsu's pretty damn good. You cannot do it in the air, in case you were wondering. So now, as always, he can also combo into his ultimate. Um, I think by uh, cancelling the 6th hit and his regular combo, I believe? Let me see. No, that one's not it. You saw you saw how Danzo had a split second to block? That one's not it. I think you have to wait till you teleport behind him. There we go. When that fire hits him, he'll stagger a bit, and then you can hit him with this. So there you go. A very sick looking ultimate. So just to show it once again. Stop blocking. As soon as that fire hits, do it. And you'll get him. Now his ultimate Jutsu in general is just pretty good. It's kind of slow, but it's literally, you could do it from anywhere and you will teleport right to Zanzo. See? You will teleport right to your opponent and do it. So, it's a pretty good ultimate Jutsu. Now, that's pretty much it for regular Shisui. I think he's, I think he's really good. He has a really good Jutsu. His grab range is long, albeit a bit slow. Well, eh, his grab range is medium range, albeit a bit slow. Um, you could jump, you could jump cancel his down combo at the very last hit, like so. Um, his tilt for poking if you don't want to go in, you could, you can follow up after that hits, like so. And his startup is pretty decent. It's way better than Itachi's, which is very slow and you can see how much recovery it has on it if you miss. So, yeah, Shisui's is considerably better. Still short range, but it's really fast. Just a quick little whoop, little quick backhand. So now let's look over their their uh, awakenings. So Shisui also gets a Susano. I'm not sure if you can consider this a true Susano because one thing I noticed is see this Susano is actually on the ground. But like Sasuke's, Itachi's, and Kakashi's, they all fly around and stuff. But whatever. So Shisui and Susano, here's his jutsu. Just like a ton of needles or, or something just get shot at you. It looks really damn cool. Here's his tilt. Just like a big fire swing. There it is if it hits. Here's his grab. It's pretty bad. You wouldn't really want to be using this, unless if your opponent's blocking for their life. But as you can see, it pops them up in the air, so you can probably follow up with that. Yeah. Oh god, I can't see. <laughs> Camera, please. So that was a Jutsu, his tilt, his grab, um, his projectiles. Pretty much the same as Itachi's. And then here's his combo. He only has one combo. You cannot see it for crap. Here we go. Now you can probably see it better. Sorry about that. There it is. Big damage. Simple combo. He has no up variation or down variation, so that's Shisui and Awakening, pretty much. It's, you know, he's just another Susano. Um, I don't think he's the best one. I, I kind of prefer um, Kakashi's the best, especially because of his uh, Kamui Lightning Blade. But, yeah. So that's pretty much Shisui in a nutshell. I think he's a really cool character. His support ability is secret technique substitution. So if you if you're getting hit a lot by secret techniques online, you can throw him on your team and he'll protect you for a bit. So with that being said, I'll end the video here with the sick team ultimate. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and comment below who else you want to see. And I'll try my best to show off some things. Uchiha no chikara da.